to turn around your business. This is a very serious video. If, if every month you're looking at the numbers and it's, 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 it's going slim, all right? If you're feeling embarrassed because you don't... feel like you've made some great decisions or you're arguing or frustrated or you have loved ones that care about you and have been telling you this, if you know in your heart that, it's, that if you don't do something today, that you might sacrifice the whole business. And a lot of you guys may even have personal lines of credit or personal guarantees in your business. I want to teach you guys a very simple, here's what I do, you know, to turn businesses around to the point where they're profitable again. They're actually generating cash and you know what, you're getting paid a great salary. I mean, that, that's one of the first things that goes, it's like I'm not gonna take a salary. That's not gonna solve the problem. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do it so that you have optics to understand how your decisions impact revenue, impact expenses, and profitability. All right, that's what we're going to share today because, you know, a few months ago, I was working with one of my clients and they had great growth. This is the challenge is most entrepreneurs are growing really well, right? They were doing a little under a million in revenue, but they're up from 300,000 the year before. So when they're looking at it, they're thinking we've, three, we've doubled or tripled the business in the last year but they didn't look at their profitability. They didn't look at the expense structure to say, where's the profit? Do we have the cash to actually scale the business? And are we charging what we need to to actually grow and continue this rate of growth, right? That is the challenge that most businesses run into. Or they make a decision and they go off and, and open up a new location or a new division in their business and they don't ask themselves what's the capital requirement the cash that we need to do this what's my timeline and horizon what's my marketing program to make sure that i get those new clients to support that new business and it's always this this game and then once it's out there how do you shut it down right so the first thing i'm going to encourage you to do is get the number 